<laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the THG Tour. We'll check this out, man. Cause if y'all just tuning in from that last video, I, well, I was cutting it off, man. You know, we always supposed to do like a little intro and shit. As soon as I'm turning the video off, Matt gonna be like, stay safe. Yeah, <laughs> stay safe, man. It's late, man. Motherfuckers ain't never gonna hear you now. That motherfucker probably gonna get hit by a goddamn donut stay truck. Stay safe. <laughs> Matt didn't tell me in time. It's all Matt's fault. Yo, Matt, I bet you get ran over by a dildo truck, yo. Bro, Of like, all things. Bro, like... Okay, so like, look, okay, uh -huh. can we say back up into a dildo truck? Like, that way the actual dildos, like, spill out? Okay. You... <laughs> Like, why, why would you get that hit by a dildo right? truck? Like, no, don't I'll, tell nobody that you backed into a dildo truck. That's so like, like, <coughs> that sounded like you tried to get a little, a little. That so, sounded like you tried to get a little hit and run. There. So we dying from? Are we dying from this dildo truck, or like, are the dildos just flying do out? Want, just don't back into anything involving a dildo. How about that? Okay, <laughs> I don't think you want to back into a dildo. I won't say that. Like, 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 what if like the dildo truck backed into us? But why is there a whole truck that's dedicated to driving dildos? Can we I ask that? Like, like dildos, just like dildos may be a billion dollar industry. Items. Like, it's like mm -hmm. a taco truck. Like they just park it. Like yeah, it's a walk in. Oh yeah. But man, bro, what you been listening to, bro, lately? Cause you know you 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 the damn like DJ Guru DJ here. You put me on the hot new hot new hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Hotnewmatthew.com. What they need to call it? That sounds like something else. Bro, you man. know I keep my ear to the youth, man. You keep your ear to the youth. Chris Hansen, like, you get. <laughs> Chris Hansen, like, I, that don't sound too clear, but I think I need to do an interview with this guy. Say, have a seat right here. As a matter of fact, stand up, because we, we got to evaluate now. But keep your ear to the youth. What does that mean? <laughs> so, like, you know, like, I like. Brown or not, bro? I'd be expensive. I'm about to say, who the new nigga? Like, who so, the new like, guy in town? I know there's somebody in town, guys that in you town but, like, right it's more of, like, what you hearing. Uh -huh. Like, because, like, there's so much out there. So, like, it. Like hip hop be in itself has become so vast that like you don't have to just say I like hip hop. Like you can say I like hip hop, but that can mean you listen to nothing but Suicide Boys and Six Nine. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hip hop. Or you got somebody that says hip hop I about love to restart. It's about to start over, yo. Hip hop is like how rock was in the damn in the '80s and shit. Like right before. I think like right before Nirvana and all them boys started coming out. Or like for example, like let's say like they say I listen to hip hop. That can mean anything that's just on the radio. Yeah. Like just your local two rate rap station. Yeah, like everything is hip hop now. It's so vast. Everybody gets hip -hop. So me per se, I guess uh, I would have to say an artist like Fiji Macintosh. See, Fiji Macintosh. Matt always I, got somebody that's very unconventional, bro. Little boy can day, too. Little boy can't. What we is got, that? We uh, got Shook Genesis. I, I think it's Shook Genesis or something like that. <laughs> Talking about man, these names don't even but sound you know, real, bro. They sound like, like gamer tags. Yeah, like somebody said that on Reddit. This nigga like, talking this, about I swear to somebody named like XX Little Pussy Dude Drip. Canteen, yeah, Fiji Mac and Cheese. Like, Fiji Mac and Cheese. Like man, come on. Man. Right, but, but but okay, what's wrong with little baby? Like who wanna walk around talking about little baby? Like, little baby, little wham wham wham. That's bitch why on the bitch on the baby. Yeah, he got a whole world saying that. He <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, little baby out here in the street. Yeah, he out here doing shit. I can't say that. The nigga know how to make a hit, but there ain't but there ain't one. Mixed tape that dude's drop. I don't think there's been like one, one bad tape. Yeah, not, like not little even one bad yeah. tape. Like there's one a lot of I artists. Yeah, there's a lot of artists out there who like they don't make songs that I love, but every song I hear it, it's like okay, I see where you were going. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying. I ain't gotta like it, but I know I see you were doing something, and you know what I'm saying. Pretty good songs. There's a lot of uh, hip hop artists. So out like, who right stole there. the year then? Who stole the year? Like, whose year was it this yeah. year? I don't know, yo. To be honest, I mean, just like you say, very good since it was so year. vast and so big, so much stuff going on. Because the Black Panther shit came out this year, yeah. Kendrick and him, that was big. You know, Drake had a big year. J Rock, like, even J Rock, like come out of the woodwork with just yeah, a that's why I really album, think like, that's why I really think hip hop is about to restart. You know what I'm saying? I think it's really about to not even say restart, but it's about to it's about to be a rap. You know, it's about to be twenty. Like you got female in a artists coming out yeah. here like Nicki and Cardi, like yeah, coming like, out here stealing shows like. Cause it's like, how long can hip hop run the show anyway? Yeah, it can only be on like, top for so like, long. How long can like, it be popping? Being on top, being on top. Mm. You know, like how rock was. You know, rock for a good twenty years maybe was the top dog. Well, a good like fifteen. But see, like, because it had like a thing, transition. Like, you know, it always transitions. Like that's what we kind of like, now. That's why all these rappers sound sing songy and R and B. They sound like other genres. They're mixing. We about to break out, and we are getting ready to break out of rap. But rock kind of like. It came up with the era of like the technology. I I don't know, like rock is different because yeah, it wasn't say, well, there wasn't like back. previous rock. Like, like it wasn't like it wasn't like there was like country artists sitting around, you know, 
Was there rocking. like soft rock before rock? Like that's my question. Like, um, here, mate, you don't take that. Yeah. <laughs> I like uh, before rock. I don't know. I think it came a little bit after hardcore rock and roll came out. But see, but Just that's like the thing. Like with this acid rap and shit, you know, hip hop came first, and then it's kind of like niggas be like, eh, well. You know, how about we try it like this? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, but hip hop's been around for ages. It's starting mm -hmm. to be around. That's what I'm saying. It's and starting it's now to be around that time popular, where it's peaking. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Every how many more does. years do we have? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like country now. Uh huh. Not saying I listen to it, but it's so. Yeah, I got a good rock. three years. Yeah. Like being on top, but it's the whole question of what's the fucking come next? I think it's going to be like some weird blend of like RB. Like a R and B style, like poppy rap, R and B rap and pop, like all of it blended. Cause I don't that's know, what we're always gonna now, need club like, music. We're always gonna need club music. Oh yeah, no question. But it's like, like, what's gonna be the main thing that everybody gravitates to? Cause right now you could be the biggest pop star in the world, but you're gonna have an album that sounds rappy, like you know, what I'm saying niggas be spitting bars. Taylor Swift was spitting bars on the last album. Like, it's gonna have to be. <laughs> she said, "Every time you see me, I be getting money." I said, "God damn." <laughs> well, we're gonna have to get out of this trap here. <laughs> Oh, that ain't gonna be long. That's, That's what I'm saying. Once everybody starts doing it, like it just takes, you know what I'm saying? Like, look when Kid Cudi came out. He was one of the only niggas doing that spacey type shit. And the reason he was so different is because everybody was doing still kind of a, a harder type jam. Mm -hmm. And then all it takes is for niggas to see that it works. Once they see that it works, then everybody gonna be doing it. Like Kanye, when he dropped 808s and Heartbreaks. At first, this shit sounded wild and crazy. Can't That's, no hip hop fan on this planet say that they expected it to be like that or they, you know, loved it as the first time they heard Lil Lock now. That's my thing then, about Twenty One's album, new album. Like whether or not you believe it, it sounds like some of these new niggas. It sounds like like it sounds like <coughs> these new generation of of like rappers and shit. Like whether or not you believe it, a lot of the sound like it's not even like I'm not saying the whole shape, the whole tape is shape, but but like there's certain sounds and songs up yeah. there that. Sound like something that like the, some of the artists that you questioned me about listening to yeah. sounds like something they could have been featured on, or something that Savage sat down and worked with them on. Like, yeah, I so it. it's a it's a it's all, it's all about the vibe. Like, and just because it's all about inspiration, you know, it's all about inspiring one another. That's all mm -hmm. hip hop is. It's just like somebody yeah. hears that sound, it's like I could do that yeah, better. Exactly, I could do that mm -hmm. better. Like. So and and that's really the the game. That's the fun. Yeah, out. I can. Yeah. That's the funnest thing about. Out of here, yeah, yeah. That's just... the funnest thing about hip hop, especially like right now with the internet being like it is. It's like yeah. niggas will make a sound, and in six months, it could be like uh, a mid level thing, mm -hmm. like like something that everybody. Yeah, turns everybody like. you hear it from everybody uh -huh. in the game. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like even see with Triple X coming out, like everybody who gets big, especially if it's different. Cause the fans gonna let you know, like, yeah. cause that's why Triple X got so much praise, cause his music sounded different than the average quote unquote rapper. Mm -hmm. And he was like very good at just mixing genres, anyway. Yeah, but. yep, exactly. That's what the kids want. That's why they mm -hmm. gravitated to that shit. That's like, why like people like different, bro. Yeah, like people, people think that you gotta do like what everybody doing. You your shit gotta sound a certain mm -hmm. way. Your shit, bro. It's just like they say, bro. If you build it, they gonna come. Mm -hmm. Like kid, cause ain't nobody who could have guessed. Like, maybe if he would have played it for you, like, hey, brother, you like this? You think this cool? Maybe I would have been like, oh, shit, yeah, that's how like, I don't think there's somebody but, I haven't met that hasn't said, yeah, I love, I like Kit Cudi or, like, uh, especially smokers. Like, there's not one smoker I've ever met that has not said they don't enjoy Kit Cudi. And saying. they can listen to, like, any of this new shit nowadays, and they'll still say that they listen to Kit Cudi. Like, exactly. Because he just made some, he makes some real shit. He makes some versatile stuff, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know, he stay true to hip hop right. and all that. But at the same time, look, we all know, I don't care what kind of fan you is. You don't just want to hear a nigga beating you upside the head with lyrics all day. You don't want to hear a nigga rabbity pabbity fabbity fabbity all day. You don't want to hear a nigga trying to sing, sound like somebody grabbing his motherfucking ball sack like Fetty Wap. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You don't want none of everything. You know, you want a good blend. You know what I'm saying? So that's, why a lot these, a good that's why a lot of these artists who do good blends, like, on their own, they going to get farther than people who just do the regular day one. So that's how they go. I like the new sounds, though. Nah, oh, yeah, know. no doubt. Look, trust and believe, because, you know, everybody out here, you know, they say, oh, man, I miss the old, miss the old, miss the old. I, I know what they mean when they say that, but at the same time, because if you look hard enough, if you look on the radio, then, yeah, you're going to be kind of disappointed for the main part. Mm -hmm. But if you look around, you're going to find somebody who making just what you want to hear mm -hmm. or just like what you want to hear or even something in a new style that you didn't think you want to hear. You may not like the little Zans and the... DG Macintoshes, or, but I don't mean know, that like you know two or three artists over. There's one that you do like. 
and it's crazy to like when you think about it it's still in probably the same bracket genre wise mm -hmm. yeah because like, like sub genre i'll put it like yeah, that yeah especially like with a lot of these hip-hop artists that come out now like when triple x came out i went in love with triple x yeah. you know i like this song but i wouldn't like that one but triple x like wi-fi you know under triple x came wi-fi funeral mm -hmm. uh ski mask and probably little some skies, other dudes yeah so that skies. yeah little sky so that's another thing like even if you don't like the main dude who might be coming out he might got some homies in his crew that you know what I'm saying they gonna manifest off of that you that's what I'm saying like without this nigga you wouldn't have got a dude that you like so you know what I'm saying that's how I, I like hip hop too man how they doing a good job of putting their homies on and making sure you know what I'm saying the whole crew get their ideas in kind of like Wu Tang you see it was like thirty niggas they all dropping thirty tapes that sound thirty different ways you know what I'm saying so a fan could find one of them niggas who he really Ooh. rock with you know what I'm saying. I was smoked the fuck out. You smoked out, man? <laughs> Alright, though, y'all. We about to go ahead and get up out of here. I feel like Elon one. Musk and goddamn fucking... <laughs> you know, when he like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. <laughs> like, he can feel the THC and cannabis going, like, flowing through his fucking bloodstream. Like, <laughs> that motherfucker... <laughs> anyway, we about to go ahead and get up out of here, y'all. Hell yeah. We gonna finish this bleasy. Y'all motherfuckers stay safe out there, man. Y'all keep that love in y'all heart, man. Y'all keep on doing your thing. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure Matt don't pass out over here. Damn, I failed. Bitch, you failed, y'all. But we can always retry. Restart at the last checkpoint. Y'all hopes. I bet y'all hopes. Y'all folks, stay safe. Get that love in your heart. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. 2020. We coming for your ass. Matthew. You. Yeah, Matthew did, y'all. He said stay safe, though. See? Stay safe, y'all. I love y'all. All right, y'all. We up outie. I'm, I'm gonna get him to hit more blunt while he sleep. That's a bad friend, y'all. Get y'all some real friends. All right, though, y'all.